Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do internal timecode on EOS. Although typically used in media, timecode is a synchronization system that is designed to perfectly synchronize audio and media. It is great for queuing things like music on EOS because it synchronized music and cues to a singular clock. ETC released a show file that has a bunch of macros created so that you can easily do timecode on your own show file. So first, I'm going to show you how to merge the show file so that you can add the timecode macros into your own. Next, I'm going to show you how to run timecode on your console. I'll then show you how to do the learn function and using that with timecode. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to edit timecode. So first to get started, go to the description down below and download the show file that ETC created so that you can then merge it into your show file. Please remember where you download the show file so that you can then easily import it into your own. Next, you're going to want to go down, hit this little carrot, hit file, merge. I just so happen to put mine on my desktop and then hit the show file, timecode playtime. You're then going to go to macros and then hit okay. And just like that, you import the timecode macros into your show file. Next, in order to actually get to the macros, you're going to want to go to a tab, hit the plus symbol, and then hit direct selects. Then hit macros. And that's going to open up the menu. So now I'm going to show you how to actually run timecode. The only things I want you to pay attention to right now are enable internal, start learn events, and set zero. So to start off, when you hit enable internal, you'll see in the top left corner that the timer just started. That's the timecode. So now that that's running, if I want to stop, I just hit disable internal and timecode goes away. To start back up again, if I hit enable internal, timer then goes back to the original time that I left it off at. If I want to set back to zero, I just hit set zero. It's as simple as that. I'm going to disable it for now. So now let's put the cues and timecode together. The first thing I'm going to do is set the time back to zero, like we did before. So now I'm going to hit the start learn events. This is going to tell the console that when I hit the go button, with timecode, it is going to record that time onto the queue. So let's hit start learn events. Now if that's enabled, if I want to start enable the timecode, with that clock starting, I'm going to go, 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 and go. Now to stop, you're going to hit stop learn events disable internal. To see what you just recorded, hit set zero to set your time back to zero, and then hit enable internal, which should send you back to your first queue that you recorded. So now we know how to enable time code and make a learn events for the time code we're going to get into how we edit the timecode. So the different editing options are set timecode. So this will allow you to set a very specific time that you want into your timecode. Clear timecode, which will take all timecode times recorded out of the certain queue, or a minus or plus. So the minus will take seconds away. So if it's 15 seconds, it'll bring it down to 14 seconds if you do minus one. And there's also the plus option. So if you have 15 seconds and you hit plus one, it will then bring it up to 16 seconds. Once again, I will be putting the show file into the description of this video. And if it was helpful, please consider subscribing for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful.